everyone, John Lindquist here, and let's talk about the self keyword in Lua. So to start this, let's set up an example. Uh, we'll just make a dog, and we'll say that this dog can speak. So we'll say dog speak. And then when the dog speaks, uh, we'll just say uh, bark. So for our dog to speak, he's going to have to react to something. So let's just say uh, dog uh, react to doorbell. And then when he reacts to the doorbell, we'll say self speak. Because in this case, it should usually be the dog that's going to be speaking. So to test this out, we'll just say dog uh, react to doorbell and run it. So you can see here that uh, we just have the dog barking because he's reacting to the doorbell, which is calling self speak and which is printing out bark. Now what this really is doing is simply passing in, if you were to call this without the, the colon, the syntax sugar, um, this would really just be dog react to doorbell and passing in dog. You can see if I run this again, let's uh, change bark to bark to, and you can see that it's changed here because um, it's basically just doing the same thing. It's just that this time, this dog, even though you don't see it as a parameter in here, um, it's being assigned to the self keyword. Now what to watch out for here is if for some reason you create, and there are reasons to do this, uh, say you're to create a cat and you're going to say, um, let's set up a function for the cat to speak, uh, speak, and when the cat speaks we'll just have the cat, you know, meow. Now what's going to happen here if if I don't pass in dog and I pass in cat instead, when I run this he is going to meow because cat is being passed in as the first hidden parameter of this and being assigned to self and then you're calling speak which is calling that speak right there. So it's it's important to be careful with uh, you know with the self keyword but if you know what you're doing um, it's definitely very powerful and you know being able to pass in whatever you want and then changing what that's going to be. Um, my personal preference is uh, I don't use self unless I know exactly why I'm using it. You know, I would usually just say dog, and then I would be, I'd do something like self if it was going to be something I wanted to change. Uh, but you know, everyone's preference can be different. So that's the self keyword and uh, what to watch out for. I hope that helps.